Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. It's still kind of dark out, but it's after seven. I actually fell asleep on the couch in the middle of editing. And didn't get in bed until two o'clock in the morning. But I swear to God, it was like 11 o'clock. I put on an episode of something. Next thing I knew, I was asleep. But I was able to get both videos edited and they are out uploading to YouTube right now. But let me get into these lashes. Wait a minute. Okay. I wanted to make sure I did this first thing. I woke up. They don't feel bad. They, they aren't sticky smushed up against my face so I'm gonna go wash my face now I'm gonna go wash my face and let's see if they're really waterproof are we gonna get three days out of these lashes what happy Saturday it's the night all right, face is washed. The lashes are wet. So I am going to just dry them, but I didn't lose not a one. Now yesterday, I did end up losing those two corners I added, just because something was going on. My eyes just was, would not stop watering in the corners. So it never fully set, but day two and I put on fairly early yesterday so this is definitely an accurate day two mm, I think I'm gonna win hey guys <clears throat> I'm dressed I'm ready to go I just got on my Santa leggings and black that I was gonna wear to the Christmas party but I didn't um, this is the but that Ev, Ev packed lipstick, I bared through it and I got it on. We'll see how it lasts today. And I got the lashes on. No other lash makeup. No mascara. We'll see how that works today. I've taken a shower and washed my face. And they are still here. So, so far, so excellent. Um, but I just got some bad news. That has really taken the wind out of my sail. And I'm trying to... Make it through the day because we're going Christmas shopping for Nani. We're actually getting her, her bedroom set and stuff. So, I'm going to suck it up. I'm just really sad. But it's part of Vlogmas. So, I had to come on and tell you. So, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I don't want to talk about it today. Anywho, um, we are going to Costco today, we are going to Ikea, and wherever else we see fit while we're out and about. So, I'll try to get some footage while we're in the stores, but I know it's going to be crazy, and to be perfectly honest, my husband says some really crazy stuff all the time, and I just never know when it's coming, so most of the time, I can't use half of the stuff. So... Hey y'all, listen, don't judge me, but I did not record yesterday while we were out. And this is why, first of all, Raymond and Imani shopping together is like a punishment. It's like a punishment. They are loud. They are running around the store. They are doing things they have no business doing. It's literally like being with the twins. Keep them in control. Secondly, we end up only going to IKEA because we we shopped. Okay, we were able to get. Well, I'll show you. All right. So we have her dresser. We did get this little rolly thing for underneath her desk because we got her desk. We got her 
chair. That's the bottom to her desk chair. And that's her desk chair right there. Um, we also ordered her bed on Amazon. We also ordered her bed on Amazon yesterday, which is really nice because for what we wanted at Ikea, we got what we really wanted from Amazon. We just paid for the shipping. It was like $100 for the shipping. And that is not an exaggeration. Um, so now that he's all set, I ordered her uh, customized light-up mirror for her room. She has a new bed, a new dresser, a new desk. Um, what else is she? Oh. We also ordered her desktop computer yesterday when we came home. So that will be here, I think, Tuesday. So now he's done. Um, I also went online and ordered some stuff for my grandson yesterday. And I'm probably going to order a couple more things for him while he Other than that, we did damage. Today we are going to Costco's because we didn't get a chance to yesterday. We just didn't have any room left in the car. And then um, after that, we're going to get our nails done. So, our toenails, toes need to be done. Um, I ended up taking the lashes off last night just because my eyes were just very irritated. I think the glue actually worked really well. I didn't lose any lashes. I really didn't um, until I started taking them off. And there's just something about the glue was kind of irritating, like making this part of my eyelid itch. I do have sensitive eyes or sensitive skin so it could be i'm allergic to the to the glue the glue performed well through tears through showers performed well okay uh my skin did not perform well i do have some um allergy spray and i've been told you can like use it like on a q-tip just along your lash line to see if that helps so i will try that and give it a second go um but we will be trying the other um eyelash glue this time so before we go i will do my lashes up and i want to give a special shout out to my niece Kamore, who is everything that i wanted to be at her age already like she is just very talented and she sent me a video TikTok of her last night doing the lash extensions herself just like I don't understand how pride works okay because I was bursting with it okay like exploding at the seams with my niece and she ain't mine she's only my niece like I was so proud like my daughter carried the Titanic from the bottom of the ocean back to civilization okay i love you kapoor you keep doing what you're doing you are going to be a magnificent makeup artist or a model i mean you just have the whole package girlfriend i love you and you keep being the best you all right i had to bathroom wash my face and get ready to go look at this y'all it was a rough night i forgot to tell you my niece is a freshman in high school She's, I think uh, she has a birthday coming up this month. Yes, it's December, but she's a freshman. So talented, beautiful, smart, um, just amazing. Amazing little girl, and she is going to rock this world. And I am really excited to see what all my nieces and nephews become and what they do. But that was just a prideful moment for me. Anyway, enough about Kamor. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to <clears throat> come on, come back and sit before I leave because today is a shorter video. But um, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, really, really excited about this room renovation. So I will save that for a special edition of Vlogmas so you can see the before and the after. So everything should be in and ready to put together um, by this weekend. Her bed comes Friday. So that will be the actual last big piece of furniture. So we are going to be doing some painting. We have to get some curtains up. Um, we're going to do a rug in there. So it's a lot of little things that come make it come together. And I think it's going to be really cute. This is Imani's 
big girl room, okay? She's coming out of the bunk beds. We went through the toys. We downsized. So she's, she's going to be 11. So we are updating her room. And um, I think this will be a really cool transformation. The next step or the next project that we will be working on will be the living room. So this furniture has got to go okay it's uncomfortable um and it just takes up way too much room and we don't have a lot of space in here that um we can like stretch out in and and occupy it so we want to try to make the most of the space so we are definitely going to be also remodeling the living room um and the bathroom i'm going to be looking at some bathroom stuff probably today um but yeah so stay tuned, the apartment's getting a transformation, but the first one we're going to do is Imani Kai's room. So make sure your notification bell is on. Make sure you guys are getting all of my uh, vlog business and so you can stay tuned. But <clears throat> that is what is on the uh, menu for the next couple of days. Just basically picking up stuff for completing Nani's room. And um, you'll be watching us kind of transform it, like take it down. Um, we have to get stuff out of there. Okay, so we started the project last weekend with uh, organizing her clothes and her toys. This week, um, we will be taking off her glow in the dark stickers that's all over the wall in the ceiling. We'll be breaking down her bunk bed, getting that out to the dumpster. Unless you know someone that needs a perfectly operational bed frame then um please make sure you uh comment or message me on any of my platforms uh, just me me j-u-s-t-m-i-m-e-e -E. zero one here most places it's just just me me but it's probably zero one too because baby i'm the i'm number one i'm the first what are you talking about anyway um so that's happening that's what's happening this week. So it's going to be a busy and a very challenging week because we have to work and go to school and still start doing this stuff. So stay tuned for that, guys. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. <clears throat> now, it is Sunday morning and I've had a chance to talk to my son, Eric, and his girlfriend Patrice, because <clears throat> we were going to Atlanta uh, the 26th of December, where well, we were, but we're not anymore. So I'm sorry guys, I know I told you we were gonna have a trip to Atlanta this month, but it just didn't look like it was in the cards with the bills we have to pay and just taking care of Christmas. Um, we just aren't able to come. And it was quite Flow. I mean, it took my breath away. It felt like I got punched in the stomach. I mean, I'm an adult. I'm 44 years old, and things don't always go the way you want. But I was able to help my son and his girlfriend out with. Christmas for my grandson, which is more important to me. I want I want to see him open his things. I want to hear him laugh and I want to kiss his face. I have not seen my grandson since he was one month old. I haven't seen him on anything other than a FaceTime video and it makes me very sad that my first grandson is so far away and yet so close. <laughs> freaking lights my um my sons too deandre and eric i haven't seen dre in over a year he's in georgia right now and he's actually getting ready to head back to portland oregon to live so it's not harder to get to portland from michigan or from um Georgia, actually, it's very expensive. It's like a $400 round-trip ticket, so. Yeah. 
you know, that's always fun. So I'm not going to be able to see my son, DeAndre. I mean, we'll make it to Atlanta for his first birthday in March. Hopefully, I can try to sneak a trip for me and my daughter in January. I don't know. I not know, y'all. But it made me sad. I'm still sad. I'm still sad. It's hard around the holidays because I miss my grandma. I, I, I really miss my grandma. And I always get super, super, super sad and super depressed around this time. Like a black blanket of sadness is how I feel. Like I'm just covered in a blanket of sadness. And it was feeling okay up until yesterday. I was feeling okay. I knew we had the trip coming and that I had fill it in with my grandson because I want to be as good as grandma as mine was if not better because she was the best grandma ever in the world ever in the world for me and now I don't have that <clears throat> so. anyway It's going to be a good Christmas. Not really. I'm trying, y'all, but I promise you, I am not. I don't want to cook. I don't want to dress up. I don't want to go see people. I don't even really want to get up and watch Nani open her gifts. I kind of just want to hang out in the bed for Christmas and just start the 26th day. I don't know what it is for me, but that's just how it works. If I can skip past the holiday, I can reset. Like, once January 2nd hits, it's like the person was never there. But that's mental health, right? That's mental health. That's knowing that at a certain time or certain things trigger you. And you have to know how to react. You have to know how to cope. So I want to be trying to cope through the holidays. And I hope you pray for me because I'm praying for me. Um, it's crazy because I'm a Leo. And we are the life of the parties, and we're always happy, and we're all excited, and we can just really get it going, but I don't do that around the holidays, and people notice, and then Raymond notices, I mean, what's wrong with you? And I can't explain how it feels to him, because he's not going to have that empathy that was required for someone that has mental health issues. So, I really don't have anyone to talk to about this stuff but you guys. So, and I could talk to my sisters, my mom, but they're already going to be sad. And I haven't told them yet. And then when they see this video, they're going to know. So, I'm going to have to tell them today. So, it's just you and me.